Now the last thing in the man activity, what we're going to have to do in this man activity is to create the on touch listener so that when the user touch the screen or the canvas then he would be able to drag his finger and then there would be a line drawing with the help of his finger on the canvas. So this is what the exact functionality we're going to be adding in this video. So let's get started. First of all what I'm going to have to do is I'm just going to create a switch statement and in that switch statement I'm just going to provide a few cases. So that cases if that cases uh, meet the requirements of our conditions then we're going to move forward. The action I'm going to be defining, defining for this one is int action is equal to and I'm just going to change this to event and this view to v for the sake of simplification and even dot that action so what it will do is it will get the action of the touch listeners what you really want in that case and then I'm just gonna provide a switch statement and there will be a key for the switch statement and the statements for the switch now the key here in this section would be actually the action we have previously defined because we are actually uh, matching this action with the action with these case scenarios if this is if the action is up means that the user have put out the finger of the screen then we means that the action is actually we have to uh, uh, stop drawing the line and if the action is down and the user is still moving that action so which means that the user you're going to have to draw the line on the canvas so what I'm going to have to do is I'm just going to create motion event dot action underscore down so what does it really means that the user have touched the screen and now I'm just going to create the same case by copying this line and then I'm going to uh, create action down and that's it now I'm just going to replace action down with a code of action and up. So action up would be better for like action is up like this. Now I am going to write another code that will be actually action underscore and cancel. And the last one which is actually uh, something which is action up and action uh, up action cancel means that nothing happens in that action and the last thing I'm gonna have to add in here is the action move so I'm just gonna write the move and there will be two options action move so we have now the four case scenarios I'm just gonna align it by con pressing control plus shift plus F and then save it okay so we have now a very fine view of this statement the case action underscore down, the case action underscore up, action underscore cancel and move. These are the very important cases and we're going to have to move along with that. So what we're going to have to do with this? Now the last thing what we have to do is to add the code to each scenario to match up with something. Now the variables what we have declared in the above section is down x, down y, up x and up y. We're going to be using it in here. We're going to be saving the action, the event action down of the user finger in the variable down x, and then we will be using it for our further references and use. So I'm going to use down, and there will be x and event dot get, and there are actually several options for the event we're going to be using in this case. Now I'm going to get the x section. Uh, of options as well in this case so it means that uh, if the user uh, touch the button in the x section means that uh, the graph consists of x and y coordinates so if the user touch or down the button in the x coordinate then what does it really mean so I'm just gonna down x even dot get x and then what I'm gonna have to do is I'm just gonna down y is equal to even dot get y Sorry, spelling mistake. Once again, get y. Okay, now we are good to go. We have saved the user down action on the x coordinate into the 
down x variable and then the, the user down action y coordinate into the down variable down y now we'll perform the same thing with the up section too so that will be like up and x is equal to even dot get x and up y is equal to even dot get y and there it is now we have declared all these things and now we're going to draw the line so canvas dot draw actually I have written the name of the canvas wrong so canvas dot draw line and in draw line I have the several options so I'm just going to get with that start x would be actually down x some y will be actually down y stop x will be actually up x and stop y will be actually up y when the user get up of the finger and the pen will remain the same so what does it do is actually it is drawing the line on the canvas the last thing in this section we're going to have to do is we're going to have to save the state of the up x into the, a down x so that when a user once again touches it will be just uh, placing or just uh, it will be drawing the line from that position or somewhere other so what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to down x is equal to up x which means when a user uh, put off his finger from the screen that will be actually one state and we are actually saving that state into a down state so the down x state will now change to a new state of the user finger so now I'm just going to use it down y is equal to up y so there it is now we have the down x and up x and down y and up y now in the next section we will go into the uh, actually cancel section in the cancel section we don't need to do anything because it automatically backs out of this code and we are not uh, performing any cancel action in our main application uh, drawing line so we really don't need to care about that the thing which we really care about is the action move when a user move the button so I'm going to perform the same steps as, as I've done in the action up so up x is equal to even dot get x and then up y is equal to even dot get y and there it is I'm just going to canvas dot bar and line and that will be actually down x up x up y and this will be actually down y and now so we change it to up y and paint and there it is so now we have a good theoretical options in here and in the next section it will break out of the code the last thing we would have to do is we will have to change to set out or to remove this error actually it is saying that at the return statement so I'm just going to add the return statement and it should be actually true because the user have touched finger so I'm going to just turn it true and now we have finished the code of on touch listener and as well as the load button uh, activity and on activity for user so now we are able to load the image from the gallery of the Android and then uh, Chris, uh, draw some lines on that image so it is now a very great options for us now in the next video we're going to be just providing the demo in the emulator how to load the image from the uh, gallery and uh, how to run this application